Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. The Ohio Supreme Court says cities can use traffic cameras to catch and find drivers for violations, but the state can withhold funding from those cities. The court upheld a 2019 law that set financial disincentives for cities that use non-man traffic cameras. Under the law, state funding can be reduced by the amount of money a city collects from those traffic camera fines. East Cleveland and the village of Newburgh Heights had challenged the law, saying it violated home rule powers granted by the state constitution. Nearly two dozen license plate readers are now up and running in East Cleveland as part of a plan to reduce crime in the city. The cameras will be used to assist law enforcement during high-speed police chases. East Cleveland reported 105 police chases in the first 120 days of this year. Opponents of the plan believe the cameras are too obtrusive and it will be evaluated in six months. Dogs from the Cleveland area are heading to Buffalo, New York today. The crisis response canines will provide comfort and companionship to the community following a mass shooting there. This is the fifth deployment in five months for the dogs. City Dogs Cleveland needs help finding homes for more than 100 dogs. Adoption fees are just $31 during the month of May. So if you're interested in adopting a, fur adopting a furry friend, you can just stop by the shelter on Detroit Avenue. The Cleveland Marathon is this Sunday. A health and fitness expo is taking place at the Huntington Convention Center today. It will be until 7 p.m. and again tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. University hospitals will be offering free health screenings. There will be yoga classes and running gear vendors. Now for a look at your weather, here's meteorologist Katie McGraw. So we had some showers and storms earlier this morning, some of which were on the strong side. Those have all now cleared out and we are seeing drier conditions, although still a bit cloudy. There is some clearing that's showing up on the satellite and we're going to get more and more sunshine as we move throughout the afternoon. So you can see all of those thick clouds starting to exit and more sunshine is expected as we move throughout the day. So a great day ahead. Very summer like temperatures into the mid and upper 80s creeping towards 90 degrees. It's windy too. Gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. All in all, though, a pretty nice day after a soggy start, but we're not quite done with the wet weather. It looks like Saturday will start off dry, but you see how we have this cold front position just up to our north and west. Kind of hovers nearby most of the day, but we get to the afternoon and evening. Showers and storms start to flare up, and some of them could linger into Sunday morning, potentially impacting the Cleveland Marathon. It will be cooler by Sunday as well, with highs around 70. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.